All right, everyone. My name is Eric Layton. I'm a University of Florida mechanical engineering graduate, and I'm here today to give you a biodiesel demonstration. I'm going to be making biodiesel in front of you using the tools in front of me, and we'll talk a little bit about biodiesel and how biodiesel is made. So I'd like to just start off with a quick introduction for biodiesel. Um, biodiesel starts off by using a fat or an oil, which in this case we're going to be using Crisco oil, which you can buy at Walmart or Publix. So it just looks just like this. And these fats or oils are also called esters. This is a scientific name for fats. And the definition of an ester is an acid bonded to an alcohol. So that's actually what, what that Crisco oil is. Acids are also known as fatty acids. And these fatty acids are made of something called hydrocarbons. And hydrocarbons are the same molecular structure that oil is made out of. So these fatty acids are used to make biodiesel. Um, these fats and oils that are used to make biodiesel are also called triglycerides. Okay, so there's, many, there's several different names for these fats and oils, and uh, there are many different types of fats and oils, like corn oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, uh, basically any type of oil. You, you can go to your uh, local grocery store and look in the aisle and see all different types of oil, and basically all of those can be turned into uh, biodiesel. So a triglyceride is three acids that are bonded to an alcohol. And in the next diagram right here, I actually drew that out for you. So you can see um, these uh, three, three, uh, three fatty acid chains right here. It looks like the little squiggly lines when you're drawing in organic chemistry. And they're connected to um, this glycerol structure right here. So there's three right here. And this, is, this whole thing is called the triglyceride. So we're basically starting off with this. So this right here, both of these right here are both Crisco oil, and these are known as triglycerides. All right. So then we come to biodiesel, and in order to make biodiesel, we have to take this triglyceride, or this fatty acid, or oil, and add things to it in order to make it biodiesel. So the definition, the scientific definition of biodiesel is a monoester of methanol or ethanol. You can use an alcohol to convert this into biodiesel. You can use an alcohol called methanol, which is commonly also called uh, heat, which you can buy in a grocery store as well. And this is actually an antifreeze that's used in vehicles. And this is 100% pure methanol. Or you can also use ethanol. And I have ethanol actually right here. This is a from a University of Florida uh, cellulosic ethanol plant dedication. And you can see on the right-hand side right here, that's actually a vial of ethanol made from basically yard waste. So you can either use ethanol or methanol. In this case, I'm going to be using methanol because methanol is a little bit easier to react with to make biodiesel. So the biodiesel reaction, the way it works is that this oil, or the, this oil source, needs to be reacted with something called sodium hydroxide, or it's also called lye. You might have heard that before because people use lye to make soap, basically to wash, wash things with. And this sodium hydroxide is also known as drain cleaner. It looks like a white crystal. So you can buy this. This was actually, uh, I bought this at Lowe's. So it's not that expensive. Um, and that's used as a catalyst. So you mix the oil, the lye, and the methanol together, and you can produce biodiesel. And this is actually a finished sample of biodiesel right here. So you can see the color difference. That it, um, it changes from like light yellow to this biodiesel color. And the process of making biodiesel, the process I'm about to show you, is called transesterification. It's a long word, but what that means is basically taking this triglyceride right here, converting it by adding sodium hydroxide, the lye, the methanol, which is this right here, adding those two together in the process of transesterification, and we create two things from that reaction. We create glycerin, which is right here, and glycerin can be separated from the biodiesel reaction, as you can see when I do it. And this creates um, three separate uh, molecules of biodiesel, which is these right here. So basically, let me make it more clear. There we go. So there's the reaction right here. So you start with your triglyceride, which is your fruit, uh, fatty acid and glycerol source, which is this molecule right here, which is any kind of oil. You go through transesterification, you make glycerin, and biodiesel. So you separate these two and you can actually sell the biodiesel for fuel in diesel vehicles and you can actually make use the glycerin for many different types of sources. Uh, if you if you uh, 
refine this glycerin, you can actually make it into, say, food grade source, or you can take that glycerin and make it into soap. So what I've done um, in previous reactions, I've made biodiesel and I made glycerin. And when I worked with the University of Florida, I made the biodiesel for their physical plant vehicles, and I took the glycerin and made soap. So this is actually an example of glycerin soap right here with the UF uh, insignia right here. And I actually took the glycerin byproduct and a little bit of lye and actually made soap from that. So that's something very neat with the byproduct of biodiesel. So right now I'm going to actually uh, begin making biodiesel. So I'm going to explain the process as I go along. It's very, very simple and you can actually do this in your kitchen. You just want to make sure that you're doing it in a safe location that you're wearing um, protective gear, and in this case I'm going to be putting on gloves, that way I don't uh, get anything on my hands. So, I'm going to put on gloves. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our oil. Um, this oil has been preheated to uh, a little bit over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's fairly warm. And this is exactly a liter of vegetable oil. This is Crisco pure uh, canola oil in this case. So you can see that. So that's heated just a little bit, so I'm going to put it over here. And what we need to do is we need to measure out the amount of methanol that we need, and we need to measure out the amount of lye that we need. So we want to be very careful when we're doing both of these things. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to measure out very quickly about four and a half grams of lye. Okay. And we'll just get everything ready. This is in grams. sodium hydroxide separate from each other and then go ahead and add it to this container with the frying oil. And what that allows me to do is that allows me to get a cleaner reaction and it allows me to create something called um, methoxide which is metho methanol and sodium hydroxide. And that's how they typically do it in large scale biodiesel plants when they're making millions of gallons is they actually mix the methanol and the sodium hydroxide first before mixing it to the frying oil. And you actually get a much better reaction. Doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. And, bring that over here. and what we want to do is measure about uh, 250 milliliters of methanol. So we're going to pour the heat. We want to be very, very careful when we're using methanol because methanol is an alcohol. Um, uh, a very common use of methanol actually is radio controlled cars and helicopters. If you've ever seen those at, say, Hobby Town USA or anything like that, the methanol is actually used to fuel those little racing engines. So that's pretty neat. And it's also used in professional racing. So that's about 100, or 250. So. Okay. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pour this in here. really quick. And I'm just going to kind of shake it around just like this. And we can just spill just a little bit. That should be okay. Okay, just like that. And you can actually, it's heating up. It's called something called an exothermic reaction. And so it heats up. So right now what I'm doing is I'm mixed. I'm, I haven't touched my triglyceride yet, but I'm taking both of these and mixing them together so I'm ready to start this process. Okay. Why does it heat up? Um, the, rea the reaction between the, the, the methanol and the sodium hydroxide, it creates energy because the bonds are ripping apart and forming new bonds. 
and as a result of that, it's releasing energy. So that's why, this, in this case, it's exothermic.